Hi guys, EBP Man here with Tabits for me. I've been receiving a lot of comments and questions regarding the music capabilities. How to stream music using Milk Music? Is it something that can stream? And then also questions about how the music player interacts uh, with the phone. Can it access um, Google Music, for example? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Milk Music to stream independently from the phone. And then I'm also going to show you the music feature so that you can play um, content that's on your phone. Let's check it out. Milk Music is the equivalent to Spotify or Pandora uh, for Samsung. Um, it is a pay for service and it also has a free option. It comes pre installed on your gear, so it's something that's already there, but you will not be able to stream standalone until you install the app on your phone. Once you install the app on your phone, you'll have the choice to stream from your phone or to work standalone. So, first thing you're going to want to do is install the app. Once you install the app, uh, the next thing you'll do is start the app on your phone. Once you've installed the app on your phone, you're going to want to launch it once and you're going to go through the setup process and go through all the prompts. You need to make it to the point where your uh, phone is going to be able to play music. Uh, once you've done that, then what you're going to do is you're going to go to your gear. Um, you're going to start Milk Music. Again, you have to do that um, at least once. So I'm going to say I am connected to my device and that kind of I, I wouldn't call it initializes, but at least gets them in sync so that the wristwatch knows that you already have the the Milk Music installed. Once you've, once you've gotten that sync uh, taken place, you can uh, disconnect the Bluetooth and then the watch will stream on its own. Let me show you how that's done. So as you can see here, I disabled my Bluetooth, so I'm trying to simulate the fact that I'm not connected to my watch. So if you go on a run, um, you know, the, the two are now independent. Uh, to prove that further, I'm just going to move this out of focus here and we're going to look at the watch for a second. I'm going to bring that up and you'll notice again it says that the watch is connected remotely. So it's not connected. You can see my battery life and you can see that I have a 4G signal. Um, this could also work through Wi-Fi if you have Wi-Fi enabled. I'm just going to show you how it works uh, through uh, 4G. Uh, now what I'm going to do is go into the app and I'm going to choose it and you'll notice that there's going to be a message that's going to come up. So it's going to start up and you see that message right there it says now in standalone mode so if you choose do not show that again you won't get that message and I'm just gonna click on that check and now uh, Milk Music is starting up now once it uh, connects you'll be able to stream music again completely independent from your phone so here's uh, the next song uh, that is uh, about to play and it's actually now playing let me get it closer to my mic all right. So uh, this is how you stream independently. So you can stream uh, music independently, which is something that you really couldn't do with the um, Android Wear uh, devices that are out there. Uh, you wouldn't be able to do that with the um, LG or Bain or, or any of the other ones that are, are currently out there. So you have the ability to skip songs. You have the ability to control your music. So here you can adjust the, the music um, volume. Um, you have um, also the ability to set favorites. We'll just keep on swiping so you can see all the features. Um, skip forward. Again, it goes back to favorites and then volumes. It's kind of a circular um, menu, which is I, I like because that way you're not forced to have to swipe one way or the other to get to something that you're looking for. So that's how you stream music independent from your phone on this Gear S2. Now, before going on to the next music feature, I just wanted to show you that when you're connected, uh, or when you're actually playing um, music, you will see on your screen, let's go back to that, the little milk symbol. So that means that the app is active. So if you do find that your phone is running slow, uh, what I do, would recommend you do is you go into your app list, uh, rotate back. So if your watch is running slow, you can see where it says recent apps. If you tap here, you're going to see all the apps that are um, you know, active. So there's quite a few apps here running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose close all and that's going to close up all my apps. When I go back up here, and I'm going to go back to the, uh, to the home screen, you'll notice that the milk symbol is gone. So that now frees up um, all the resources that I have on my watch so that it doesn't slow down. So now let's look at how you can play content that comes from your phone that has to do with, um, you know, other content like uh, from Google, Google Music. What I'm going to do is go into the apps again, and you notice that you have Music Player right there. So what we're going to do is choose Music Player, and then with Music Player you have a couple options. You have by default it's going to be Play Music. Let me go back into that really quick and show you. 
So you have the ability to, and these are some of the standard icons, right? So you have the ability to shuffle, you have the ability to uh, see things alphabetical, you have also uh, favorites. Uh, here you can choose the output, you know, so if you have a Bluetooth headset, you could actually uh, direct the music uh, to uh, a Bluetooth headset and keep in mind that that Bluetooth headset symbol also applies to your car so if you have your gear with you um, you could actually direct it to go to the headphone or the uh, your car speakers so uh, we'll go back to that menu really quick uh, we'll choose that and you can change it from being uh, playing music from gear to playing music from your phone now couple things that you'll need to do. So the first thing you'll want to do in order to get the watch to be able to play uh, from the appropriate app, you have to start the app. I think that this um, is more of a of a Google thing than it is a Samsung thing. So uh, if you were to try to go into the music player like we did, right? if I go into the music player and let's go back into it really quick, Let me press that button, and I choose it. Uh, here I have the music that's on the watch. But if I were to go into play and I was just in Milk Music, it's going to default to Milk Music. Keep in mind that when you're connected to um, your phone, uh, you're, in, you're using your watch as a remote control. Uh, you can, as I mentioned, connect that uh, or have the music stream from your phone to a headset if that's what you want and still use your watch as a remote control but it will remember the last app that you're in. So if I want to play uh, music from Google Music, from what I have on my drive, or, or play music in this case, I have to open up Play Music, as I did right here. So let me zoom out so you can see that. So I opened up Play Music. Uh, what will then happen is I'll at least want to play, um, I find at least one song. So I'll just you know press the play button, and I just do it once so that it remembers that this is my player. Once I go back to the app on the watch, and I'm going to rotate it, uh, so I can get to the uh, to the music. Let's do that again. And I choose music player. I'm right now on the music that, and we'll move the phone out of the way again. Uh, we'll move the we'll go back into play from phone. And now what happens is it synchronizes whatever sound song or playlist I had uh, that I was playing from on my phone onto the watch, and then I can control it. But that's the only way you're going to be able to switch from milk music. To uh, the you know to to um, the play music um, application at least that's what I've been able to find, but you will be able to again control the music that's on your phone uh, through your watch. Now the third way that you can play music is sending content to the gear. Now there's a couple things that you can do. You can select the specific tracks that you'd like. I'll zoom into that. You can select the specific tracks so that you'd go into like a file explorer and choose it. You could choose a playlist to sync right um, and that's by using the auto sync so again that's another way so you either have milk music you could use um, Google's play solution for music or you could use any music that you have stored on your phone the difference is before you can um, use what you have stored here you'll need to sync it over now keep in mind that Google's music player also interacts with content that you have on your on your phone itself um, and all the players that are in here but again if you want to move something to your watch to be able to use it as a standalone solution uh, I recommend using this feature here so this concludes uh, kind of the tutorial and explanation of how you play music on the Gear S2. I hope that this answers all the questions. Um, keep them coming. Uh, we've had some really good activity around the Gear S2. And once the um, uh, Urbane becomes released again, I'll be bringing that back on the channel. I did return the Urbane um, due to the recall. Um, it was very disappointing, and uh, I really like the watch. So for now, we'll be focusing on the capabilities of the Gear S2. Uh, once again, Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and keep the questions coming.